Hi traders, today we're going to go into the details of a gap and go trade I just had today. It's a live recording of my session. Take a look at the S&P 500. It starts with a big gap down. That's the first thing you want to see, a gap down. It helps your trade if you're planning to short. Now Uber just moved under the lows and I'm shorting here 4,000 shares. Now why did I short Uber? That's a classic gap and go and that's a trade I want you to understand today in depth. So first notice here the stock is down 7% then it came down with a huge gap and then very important maybe the most important thing it tried to move higher and failed. So you see the first one minute candle green candle it tried to move higher and then come an engulfing red candle which took it down that's the place where I shorted it now my entry point is 25.53 now the first thing I'm thinking about before I take the trade is where the stop is going to be so you can notice here that the high of the day of Uber is 25.95 so I'm thinking well what would be the point where if it would cross it it would probably move over the highs therefore my conclusion is 25 uh, 90. I don't want to put a stop over the highs because once the stop is stock is moving over the highs then it's likely to uh, just you know spike higher you don't want to be there because then your stop loss is going to be huge or potentially can be bigger so I'm going to stop it just in case it moves over 25.90 which means I've got approximately 40 cents stop loss which means also that according to my system a one and a one to one risk reward that's that's usually the system I'm using and of course it could be different from one trader to another my target should be 25.10 so that means I'm looking for a 40 cent target and a 40 cent stop loss and now I'm watching the buyers and sellers notice how the sellers are pushing down you can see this uh, column over here which indicates a number of sellers at different numbers and you can see that there's more sellers than buyers and this, this, the, the stock price is coming down of course more sellers than buyers and it slowly reaches my target so again my target is 25.10 and I'm waiting for the sellers to be under 25.10 but that, does that mean that I'm going to take it and click the button right there well I could have had a limit order waiting for it but I won't do that because and, and now we just reached my target you can see that the sellers are at 25.10 it reached my target I'm not taking a profit because I'm trying to get a little bit more and I got 10 20 cents more I'm up over two grand I'm taking my profit right over here covering 3600 shares leaving just 400 shares now the idea was to improve my one-to-one -one risk reward ratio so when I do that I do not wait at the point of my target I'm improving my risk and reward ratio uh, dramatically sometimes I get one to two sometimes I get one to three but the minimum I will get is a one to one risk reward I just can't have less than that now take a look a little bit later like 40 minutes later you can see that uh, Uber continued to move lower so it just kept coming and that's to answer the question why did I leave 400 shares so the reason I left 400 shares is because I've got now a $600 profit and I'm covering another 300 shares because I thought it's likely to continue coming down but I want to make sure that I put some profit in my pocket that's just the way I trade so the end result today is quite nice you can see that I've got a winner in uh, Uber $2,500 I also got a winner in Tesla, RBLX and Qualcomm a loser in coin. Now what do I want you to remember from this video? First let's talk about the basics. A gap and go occurs when the stock is gapping up or down more than 3%. Normally when the stock is gapping in this case down more than 3% institutional traders are out, out of the game. They do purchases or they are selling stocks for their customers their customers are in waiting mode right now trying to figure out what's going to happen to Uber nobody wants the institutional traders to buy or to sell stocks at this time so who's in the game the people who are in the game are people like you and I traders but we are the minority most of the people are long-term investors and when they see a stock gapping down that much they will normally sell so at the beginning of the trading session you want to see a gap which is bigger than three percent and then you look 
for a move in the direction of closing the gap. You want to see the stock moving up in this case. It gap down, you want to see the first green candle, you want to see it moving up and you want to see the failure. Normally, there will be some people who are averaging down their loss, which means they are buying or thinking that the price is too low. There will be a lot of open orders during the first few minutes. So the open orders coming from yesterday, these are automated orders, would normally be in the direction of closing the gap. That's why the first move will normally be up. And then you look for the failure. So after the first one or few minutes, you look for the sellers to take over. You look for the sellers to start selling. And again, these are people just like you and I. They are not institutional traders. And what drives them is mainly fear. I mean, what drives most of us is fear and greed. And in case the stock is trading down or gapping down in a big way, 7% Uber right now, around 15%, then fear really indicates the direction of the stock, which is likely to come down. So the whole idea of a gap and go is a statistical idea. More sellers than buyers. You can see that on the level two, you can see the pressure. And then the the, the only question now is where should you move in? What's the place of your entry? Where you should short it? And what would be your stop loss? What would be your target? There are different ways of trading that. Again, my, my preferred system is a one-to-one -one risk reward. It just works well for me mentally. I like to put my profit in the pocket and forget about the trade. So I just leave for small size and I'm expecting it to continue coming down. You can see here that it did continue coming down. That's different from one trader to another you can definitely argue in this case that i could have had a bigger profit and you will be right but for the vast majority of the trades of my trades it works well so again a trade which starts with a very big gap up or down is likely to become a gap and go in this case coming down with the direction of the gap in a case of a gap and go where the stock is gapping up it's likely to continue higher and you do Practically, you do the same thing. Now, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give me a like. It helps my channel and helps more people like you uh, learn more about uh, day trading. And uh, if you do want to subscribe to my channel, there's a button right over here. So please click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. There's plenty of links right here below to trade the same platform I'm using, which is the Colmex Pro platform. I think it's one of the world's best, but please start with a demo. There's a free demo access right here below. You should start with a demo because trading is extremely hard and most traders are losing money. So be real careful. Thank you very much for watching this video. And again, plenty of links right here below. I'll see you in the next video.